Excellent report card, Cope. Excellent. Really, son, I'm very pleased. So, I hope you'll be pleased with this. Oh, wow! Thanks, Dad! What is it? Open it. Hey, wow! Just what I wanted! A telescope! Thanks, Dad! How did you know? Oh, it wasn't too hard. You dropped enough hints. I'm gonna try it out. This is gonna be great. I've wanted this telescope for a million years. Now, what should I look at first? The rings of Saturn? Jupiter's moon? Now, let's start with the moon. Just let me get this in focus. Jake here. What? What's that, son? You saw a werewolf in the moon through your new telescope. You sure about that? Well, hang on. We'll be right there. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Let's go, Ghostbusters! It's in here. There. That's where I saw it. It was scary. I don't think I like astronomy anymore. Don't worry, Cope. Everything will be fine. Just leave it to us. See if you see a werewolf, Eddie. My Jake, do I gotta? Okie dokie. I was just asking. Are you sure Cope wasn't imagining things? Cope has been interested in astronomy for years, Mr. Kong. It would take a lot to make him this frightened of the stars. <laughs> Nothing here, Jake. Wrong end, Eddie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I see the moon. It looks... <laughs> Dad, I'm scared. Be brave, son. You have to face up to your fears so they won't scare you anymore. Look at the Ghostbusters. They're not scared. Hmm. Chin up, Eddie. What did you see? The, the, the moon, moon turned into a were werewolf. Yeah, that's what I saw, too. Did you see anything, Tracy? But I saw it, Jake. I, I did. I'm sure you did, Eddie. But if Tracy didn't see anything, then there's only one answer. What's that, Jake? It's not the moon that's haunted, Eddie. It's the telescope. <laughs> The telescope? 
Well, wh what do we do now, Mr. Kong? You folks go downstairs where it's safe. This is a job for... the Ghostbusters! I was afraid he'd say that. Let's see, you said it was a werewolf, Eddie? Yeah, that's right, Jake. Well, let me check. <laughs> Yes! It's there, all right. Now we gotta get it out. Do we have to? <laughs> I'm allergic to werewolves. We're all nervous, Eddie, but we have a job to do. Get your specter snare ready, and Tracy, give that sucker a shot of ghost gas. <laughs> As I suspected. Nail him, Eddie. Got him! Oh, what will you think, Ghost Bugler? gets back to haunt quarters, Prime Evil will restore him. Come on, let's talk to the Randalls. But I don't understand, Mr. Kong. You say this fangster works for Prime Evil, but why would Prime Evil want to scare my little boy? I'm afraid we don't know why, Mrs. Randall, yet, but we intend to find out. I appreciate that, Mr. Kong. Haunting my son's telescope was a mean trick. It might have destroyed his interest in astronomy forever. Well, fortunately, we're taking him to visit the Space Center tomorrow. Maybe we can just forget about this horrible occurrence. Well, I hope so, ma'am. But Prime Evil can be tricky. My friends and I will try to find out what he's up to. Come on, guys. Don't you worry, Mr. Annual. You can count on the Ghostbusters. Uh, yes. I'm sure I can. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Mm, now where are we going? To the year 2960. Oh boy, you mean Futura! That's right, Eddie. We got a lot of questions, and I think Futura may be able to answer them. <laughs> I should leave you dematerialized, but I have need of you. Now hear me, you two. Even now, the Ghostbusters are on their way to the year 2960 to see Futura. They must not discover the secret of Copernicus Randall. So you must stop them. Now!
Welcome to the year 2960, boys. What brings you so far from your own century? We wanted to ask you a question, Futura. What's Prime Evil up to with a little kid's telescope? I suppose you know what he means. <laughs> Let me explain. We just discovered that Prime Evil was haunting a little boy's telescope back in our own century. Oh? Why would Prime Evil do that? Gosh, that's what we were hoping you'd tell us. Well, I can't imagine what he'd be planning. Who is this little boy, anyhow? His name is... <laughs> and Long John Scarecrow! Let's hit it, guys! You, Long John. Not quite, Miyati. I've got you. And now a quick freeze from me freeze luck. No! <laughs> Square one, landlubber. Yo, time for the Spectre Snare. Oh, not this time, Buster. Sorry, Tracy. You'll be sorrier, mate, right now. Hold it, Hans. Consider yourself busted. <laughs> Yo! Back to primeval. Thanks for your help, Futura. <laughs> no problem, Jake. At least you boys keep things exciting. Boy, am I glad that's over with. I guess Prime Evil was trying to stop us from talking to Futura. But I don't know why. It makes no sense. Who is this little boy anyway? His name is... Oh, oh. Well, what's his name? Uh, you know, with all the excitement, I've forgotten. Copernicus Randall. That's it! How come you remembered? Simple, Jake. It's written right here. See? Copernicus Randall. <gasps> Copernicus Randall, the father of the stars? What on earth are you talking about? Copernicus Randall invented the star drive that let humans go to the stars. He opened the way to peaceful colonization of the galaxy. He's very famous. But the Cope Randall we know is only ten years old. And he hasn't done anything like that. You mean not yet. But when he grows up, he will. That's the answer, then. Prime Evil wants to rule the galaxy. And to do that, he has to stop Copernicus Randall from inventing the star drive. I get it. I, I get it. So he's trying to make young Cope so scared of space that he'll never want to invent a star drive. Prime Evil won't give up yet. The Randalls were going to take Cope to the space center. Prime Evil's sure to strike there next. <laughs> The Ghostbusters have discovered my plan! But I shall still win! The adult Copernicus Randall must never invent the Star Drive! The child Cope Randall is interested in space! You, my evil servants, must destroy that interest through fear! Bankster, Long John, Ratterat, Scared Stiff and Trancelot, go now to the Space Center and strike terror into the heart of that child. And if the Ghostbusters get in your way, you know what to do. Go! Goodness, this is fascinating. I never knew rockets were so big. 
They have to be big, ma'am. Takes a lot of fuel to get into space. Are you enjoying this, son? I sure am, Dad. This is great. Yeah, then here's something else you might be interested in, youngster. A giant telescope. No, no, Dad! Is, is something wrong? No, it's just that he's had a bad experience with a telescope recently. It's all right, son. Go on. Take a look at it. Uh, go on, youngster. Take a look. Why, you evil monsters! I've had enough of your bullying, my son! You ghosts don't scare me anymore. You're all just big bully. Oh, so you're not scared, huh? No. Good for you, Cope. But now, you folks clear out of here. Busting these bozos is our business. I wish you wouldn't talk so brave about us. <laughs> You Ghostbusters have interfered with Primeval's plans for the last time! Get them! Let's go, Ghostbusters! <laughs> ah, gotcha, Swabby! Jake! Tracy. Ha! 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 Gotcha! Thanks, Futura. My pleasure. Trapped. was bust the ghosts. You were the one who defeated them because you decided not to be afraid of them. That's right, Cope. And since Primeval won't be able to make you scared of space anymore, you've defeated them. I... I don't understand. I know you don't now, Copernicus, but you will in about 20 years. You're going to be very proud of your son, Mr. and Mrs. Randall. Going to be? We already are.